What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Hope you're having a wonderful night or day. Today, we are going to be liberating yet another village in Belrite. This time, we're going to be going for not the second one, which would technically be like Padstow, possibly. But the second one for me that I'm going to be liberating is Farnsworth. I don't remember if that's how you exactly pronounce the name of it, but give me a second and I will tell you. Oh my god! That guy took a beating. We're going to be liberating that town because they actually have an apprentice innkeeper in there alongside an apprentice laborer, which is something that I desperately need to get. I'm missing all of my shots here. Right now we're dealing with the rec reclamation party, so that's why we're taking these guys out. But uh, we're going for that town specifically because, yeah, we need to get... Oh, cool, Rahad. We need to get ourselves an apprentice laborer so that we can actually make the tanning benches or the tanning rack. And then also uh, the apprentice innkeeper, which will allow us to get the tavern and the, um, I believe, the cabin, which would be kind of nice, actually. I don't know where these other ones are. Okay, it looks like we got one right there. Nope, that's not them. I think they're moving backwards. Sometimes I, I have noticed that they might do that. For some reason, I don't know why, but I think they might be, like, moving. Yeah, they're actually moving backwards, so that's weird. Not sure exactly why that's happening, but okay, we'll chase them. So, for this mission, I think I'm going to need to um, transport resources because I'd like to have the bell tower built there by the time I... By the time I get there and liberate the town, I want to be able to build the bell tower right after that and then be ready for the reclamation party. So, I got a plan to have one of my companions... Uh, travel with food and then I have a plan for my two crafters to transport the materials that I'll need alongside myself to craft it so we need eight rope 15 planks 10 wood and copper nails realistically we only need to transport the planks the, the rope and the copper nails the wood and the um uh, the wood, yeah, the wood and the logs, we can get there ourselves, which is fine. So as long as I'm able to transport that between them two, that should be fine. Uh, I may need to incorporate one more person, but um, I do have some extra bags because I wasn't actually putting bags on NPCs until now. So they should have some extra inventory space alongside myself. These guys are making this very difficult for me to catch them. I don't like. I don't like this at all. We'll get them though. Hold on. Okay, we're going to be a little staggered here, but we got them. Let's get these bastards. I don't know why they start doing that. Like, they'll just start walking away. Honestly, I might have... Maybe I should have just let them walk, to be honest. I don't know what happens with to the reclamation parties if they're allowed to just run all the way back to the, to the fort. But it might have delayed. It might have delayed the next reclamation party. Damn. News from the kingdom. There's All right, everybody should go back to base there. Whoever needs food, I'll get them food when I get back there. Take those arrows. Are those bronze? Oh, those are bronze. Nice, juicy. Okay. So I'm glad we're not going to need any straw, thankfully. Now let's go ahead and transport back to Shadow Vale. We'll get these resources going. I know, again, I'm actually um, doing this liberation during winter, but this time I actually have the resources to do it, both food and um, resource wise, you know, resources in general. I'm actually prepared this time, so I think it's going to go over a lot better than it did last time. We shouldn't have people starving in the streets and stuff like that. I'm going to make sure that we stock up everybody on food before we go, though, just to be safe. So we're going to do that here in just a second. I got a lot of books in my inventory that I still need to expend. I've been trying to figure out who needs to, you know, who needs to have their stuff increased, and I've been doing that as I go. I probably do that as I'm waiting for them to come back as well. I actually started myself a spreadsheet for everybody's gear that they have because it was just so hard to keep track of. I didn't know who had what, who still needed an upgrade. So I just literally um, made a spreadsheet and now I can tell who exactly needs what at whatever time and I just change it as I go. And then uh, I also wrote down their skills so I can, t I can tell what they specialize in. 
but yeah, it, it it's very difficult to initially know, um, you know, what everybody's good at. There's, there's, I feel like there could be a better window when it comes to that, because uh, right now it seems like it's kind of, you know, up in the air. You just kind of have to guess a lot of the time. But um, you know, there's still ways to. Yeah, I mean, you can do it by memory if you if you have a really good memory. I definitely don't, so I have to do stuff like this for sure. Because otherwise, I just I would not be able to deal. Just absolutely would not be able to deal. So let's get let's go ahead and get a ton of food here first, and then I'll fill everybody up. See, I I, I got a decent chunk of food. This isn't all my food stores though, by the way. We'll fill everybody up. I still have one guy who's not cooperating at the moment, and that's because he's sleeping. I don't think I care about him too much. He's, he's okay. Honestly, I got at least two people that I need to replace as soon as possible. So it's, it's kind of okay because like they, their stats are just so horrible that, um, I, I do really just don't want to deal with them for longer than I have to. And they're, they're probably just going to be a liability at the end of the day. So Aubrey is one of the ones that I got transporting food. Bess, I could probably give her some, a little something, something too, but it's okay. I'm just going to stockpile everybody up on food. Make sure we're good to go here. Hello, Hannah. Hopefully get them three types of food as well. The kingdom, there's always something. We got a ton of food to blow through because um, I got I got two farms going. I, I do need to start a third one, actually. I just remembered. But um, those farms have been super effective so far. Super, super effective. She's got a wood sled, right? Yeah, she's got How's a wood sled. Wood you? sleds are different con or containers that you can make. Oh, this is one of my crafters right here. That will allow you to carry more logs, which is really useful. That's one of my crafters right there. Barbara, she's a blacksmith. Peyton, hello, sir. Let's get you something, something here, too. Patrick, what's going on? The man. I'll get you some... Uh, I'm going to eat the mashed potatoes myself, but you can have that berry, berry jam. How's that's that all, that's for you, treating? buddy. Give you some meat as well. Let me go ahead and get for the back row. Let me get an extra set of food. Okay. from the kingdom there's always something wait what did i just give you sorry oh meat okay that's fine cool that's that works for me i'm gonna do go ahead and pop that and that okay now i would like to have at least one more person that's capable of carrying stuff for me patrick i think you'll do just fine let me go ahead and get you an extra bag, sir, and then we'll go ahead and start saddling up and getting ready to go over to uh, Farnworth. Yep, that's the one. I'm seeing the, the quest thing now. So let's get an extra bag here. I'm going to go ahead and grab these two planks, this one rope, and what was the other thing? I guess we can get a little bit of wood here. The other one was... Okay, so it's mostly the rope. That, okay, the copper nails. Okay, got it. All right, so Patrick, I'm coming to you first. You'll gather some of... You'll grab, We'll go ahead and keep some of this stuff. Oops. One, two. Put the bag on you. Okay. News from the kingdom. There's always News something. From the kingdom. There's always so we something. need 13 more planks, about seven more rope. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. How's that new weapon? You're gonna be my rope man. Okay. Thirteen planks and then just like seven copper nails, and we should be good to go for the most part. Thirteen more planks. Uh, where are my planks at? I think they're in the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also, somebody needs to hold the rest of this food. You, maybe you, Mary, if I remember. Aubrey, Aunt Aubrey, and Mary. Okay. Rick, on you're good. Actually, you were the second person that I was hoping to have to hold stuff. So, two, four, six, seven, need about five-ish more. Lost count now. Well, better bring more than I need. Don't want to be stuck with, uh... <laughs> Don't want to be stuck needing more. How's that new weapon treating you? Okay. We got the rope. I'll, I'll get a couple of couple more for myself as well 
and then copper nails. We got three there. Um, I'll put a couple more of mine on. A couple more of these on. Uh, I'll, I'll bring some wood as well. And then the logs, we can we can just get there. We don't have to care about that. But the copper nails, I don't actually know. I should have enough here. Okay, cool. That's and I just need one more, which I hope I hope beyond hoping that I have one in that chest over there. Man, this my this guy must feel super unlucky right now. How did I miss? Oh, what the hell? Oh! You guys go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Ooh, yeah, okay. Show them what we're made of. Stand tall and fight like hell. I don't want to drop anything here. That would not be good for me. Um, use a bandage. For honor, for glory. Let's show them what we're made of. For honor, for glory. All right. I don't want to. I don't want to get too close. Let's show. I don't want to lure that bandit camp. I also don't want to leave that loot, but I feel like we might actually lure them if we get too close. And I don't want to do that because if you leave uh, something I've really been I, I've been doing in this area specifically too, if you leave at least one bandit um, in the camp and you don't completely clear it, then more will respawn. So I kind of use both of these ones, that one and this one above as farming grounds because I have that sign right there, bandits. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave that alone. And yep, I was right too because they were going to get close to that body anyway and we would have. We're almost there. As a matter of fact, though, come to think of it, I may actually need to wipe out that bandit camp just because when my companions are on their way back, it's very possible that they'll run into it. And I do not want them to get molly whopped in the process. Um, who is that? It's kind of low like that. Is that Mary? Okay. Oh, she's eating something. Okay, good. Good, good. Yeah, I'm trying to keep track of everybody because somebody got super low a little, a little bit ago, but I fed her some more. Fingers crossed that we can actually last until the end here. We just need to go past this next section and we're good to go. So, uh, Bellwright Tower. Okay. I sure hope I have enough planks. I should, but fingers crossed. I don't, I don't remember if I fully counted them all. Um, I think I did, but we'll find out, I guess. Worst case scenario, I can just use the sign down there to come back and get the materials and put them right back in there. And then I'm going to use my companions to build the tower for me this time instead of having to do it all myself. And it should go very quickly. I'm actually curious to see how quickly it goes. And then we just have to deal with the reclamation party and we're all good. I'm probably going to recruit that laborer and the uh, apprentice innkeeper. And I'm going to get rid of... Um, and fight like hell. Oh, every time I see a deer, I really want to hunt it down. Uh, I'm probably going to get rid of the two companions that I, I need to because they, I mean, they, they, they don't have anything going for them, to be honest. Damn. One of them has zero out of one strength, zero out of one. And another one has one out of six, like everything. And even though that's not horrible, um... Well, you know what? That one actually can be trained up. I think, I think it was mostly the zero out of zero out of one, one that I wanted to get rid of because it's like you can't use any kind of shields. You can't, or you can just use the plank shield, and that's about it. And the base, most basic weapon. It's like there's far better choices when it comes to that. Bandits, gotta be careful. Oh, looks like they're fighting one. Yeah, there's actually a, a huge amount of bandits in these areas. I got to be super careful. Honestly, I I might be tempted to just kind of let this town go the next time that a reclamation party comes around because I don't think we're going to be wanting to come down here that often until, uh, what's it called? 
which I'm, I'm very curious to find out what happens when a town gets reclaimed right like if the if the reputation resets like how exactly that goes but yeah i think it's going to be a far better i'm going to leave that loot there i don't care i don't want to loot this i don't want to lure those other bandits i gotta get gotta get over here gotta get this done fast but i'm curious like if the reputation will go all the way back down or if you'll still be a protector status i guess we're gonna have to find out it's gonna be worth testing though like if for any reason if it does go all the way back down i, I don't think it will but if it goes down that's still fine because um, I still am going to get the labor, the apprentice innkeeper. So after that, I won't really have to care about that town specifically, to be honest. I should have enough renown to get them, but when I get rid of the one NPC that I really want to get rid of, or possibly two, uh, I should have more than enough renown at that point. Actually, let me open my Google Doc just to double check and see which ones I need to really get rid of. So give me a second here doing that while we're running come on everybody let's go okay yeah i just checked and i have so i have one npc that has the zero one and then i also have another one that has the one out of six which isn't bad if i can get him to that level it's just that um getting there might be kind of annoying to be honest okay we're gonna have to Take a look here. Who's got food? Well, yeah, you guys are all kind of running low on food, aren't you? Okay, well, we're gonna have to make it. Gonna have to make it all the way. News from the kingdom. There's always something. News from the kingdom. There's always something. Who had the food? Okay. News from the kingdom. There's always something. Here, take some of that, Bess. Who is this? Who's hungry? can't tell who that oh okay cool all right let's go i'll just get a stack load of food when i get there like yeah this is gonna be too and and part of the reason that i went for farnworth is i think because it had the apprentice innkeeper and the apprentice laborer i don't remember why else i went there i think the quest lines were fairly easy but to be honest there was also oh oh actually it felt closer as well than Black Ridge because I think Black Ridge had the apprentice laborer as well. Padstow I think just had the apprentice woodcutter uh, or woodsman and the apprentice like healer, which would probably be the second town that I'd want to take. Um, and then if I want to take um, Farnworth and like keep it, I'll probably have to clear this bandit camp out and have a, a stronghold like in this section right here because I don't think I don't think there's gonna be a way I can. Um, Act it, like efficiently hold them from up here. Like we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to move some people around. Okay, we're coming up on the town right now. Hopefully, also by the time I'm ready to take those towns in this, these towns on the south, we'll have a better system for uh, getting feathers. And, and just like hunting in general Let's show them what we're because made of. at the moment Let's show them what we're made of. it doesn't seem like you can easily no get feathers like the only the only ways that you can get them right now is to Stand either hunt chickens like weren't you supposed to have a shield unless it must have already gotten broken it's crazy all your shields broke that's crazy all right let me get that thanks All right, we need to wipe these guys out so we can get the food. The, I'm, I'm going to stockpile a bunch more food. And then uh, we'll start getting this bell tower built at the same time. So we need to we need to wipe these guys real quick. And then that way we can... Um... I'm also really glad that it's daytime right now. I just realized it would be extremely bad if we if it was nighttime at the moment. Extremely. Because I'd, I'd have like no way to rest right here. And then if I did go back and rest, more than likely everybody would be super hungry by the time we were done so that would be a problem you're gonna have to give me a second merlin news from the kingdom there's always something god coin for an old soul the food goes really fast honestly it's it's a little insane 
Please help us get rid of these chains and liberate Farnworth. We will stand with you. Your words give me hope. But after we start the liberation, there will be no going back. I Let's do it. Bravery. But first, we need a belt. They will not take the defeat of their garrison without retaliation. Sorry for skipping past that, but we gotta get this stuff going. Oh, there seems to be more brigands than the last time. <laughs> Come on, people. I got to stop doing the overheads. I can't get a good hit right here, though. It's a little bit better. Alright, we need to start this bell tower right now. Merlin. Darn it. Oh my god. The biting cold reminds us that winter is relentless. What a nightmare. All right, I need to I need to go get food really quick and then come right back. Holy hell. Look at all those people, all those people that are leaving right now. Jeez, and I I spent so much food getting them down here. And they're all just leaving. I, I probably should have put another sign up. Now that I'm thinking about it in hindsight. Um, because I'm going to have to. <laughs> I'm going to have to go all the way. I'm going to have to go all the way over there. Then I'm going to have to run after these fuckers. God. Okay. Okay. Yep. They're going to die. That's okay. Not die, die. Well, at least hopefully not. But uh, they should get injured, or probably going to get injured. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's doing good. It's doing good. Can they help me with this? It doesn't seem like it. I see the bring materials option, but companions move to position. Bring materials. Can you swap between the order, though? It doesn't seem to, like you can. Well, I don't. I don't think you can actually uh, have them build in that case. I mean, she might actually live. I don't know. I doubt it, though. I think she's gonna get overwhelmed and get crushed. No, even the. <laughs> Even on that part, I guess you can't have them build it. Oh well. Just gonna click my butt off. Uh... Does she actually live? made it through somehow. I don't know how. And the bandit camp too? I mean, maybe if she sticks to the road. I don't know. I guess. Oh, I actually did not mean to do that. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear me clicking.
You gotta go brick by brick in this thing, man. Or plank by plank. Oh my god. I'm gonna save. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna save. What's very bad as well is we, we have a raiding party coming today, so yeah, that might not end up being the best. So we do have people, wait. Oh, it was you, Barbara. Come here. Get your butt back here. Yeah. Stay. We do have people going back, but it's likely not going to be enough. So likely what I'll, what I might have to do is I might have to go down and go hunt down the reclamation party. Seamus, okay. All right. Party time. Moment of truth. Did they make it back? They actually made it. Well, I mean, looks like Jane might be up. Who's that? Oh. What the hell? That's weird. Jean might actually be fighting right now. Alright. The there you are, buddy. Something. I gotcha. Alright, now which way is that party gonna go? Brigand's big patrol party. Alright. We need to be ready. Okay. I think I'm just gonna have to take these guys on myself. Do it that way. Oh, Aubrey. They can kick rocks, honestly. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this myself. I need a better shield, though. Oh boy, this is not good. This is really, really not good. Okay, Jane. Oh my god. I think I've seen some suggestions about it'd be great if they could add like a supply wagon or something like that. I think that could. I don't know why it's doing that. Hold on. I think that'd be great if they could. Because, yeah, there's something. Holy hell. Yeah, because something's definitely got to change there. That's just insane. I wonder what 74 items they got. They can even carry 74 items? It's kind of impressive, to be honest. I guess we'll find out when we get back. It's nothing that can't be farmed back up, honestly. It's just kind of irritating that this took as long as it did because I, uh, because I was dealing with this NPC reclamation party running back and forth on me and the NPC consumption. <laughs> okay, we should be good though. They're gonna come right for me. I think, I, I guess if you're watching just with the reclamation parties, 
it seems like the best way is just to let them come to you and just stand still. It seems that if you're charging towards them that they will just start running away. I don't know why, but I'm going to go ahead and save, make sure we're good here. Okay. Yeah, that hill. The hill advantage. We can use that. Come on, Zergum. And at least take the hit. Oh my god. Okay. We got him. Holy hell. Alright, at least everybody was only injured, not dot and not dead. Oh, it actually brought the raid threat down. Okay, thank goodness. Fallen, 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 fallen. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. Okay. That that tracks. And then Jane, I moved her. I moved her to keep her from dying during the stupid raid. No backing down, no backing down, down now. Something. Well, alright then. All right, let's loot these bastards, and then I'm gonna we're gonna go take down that bandit camp for sure. But I'm also gonna recruit the laborer laborers that are in here. And yeah, you can you can fall you can stop following me. I don't care. No, I do care because we got to take that bandit camp that's in between our base and here. Make sure that if for any reason I did care enough to come back here, we can at least do that. But I don't think I don't think that's likely. I think at this point, I'm just going to leave this village to fend for itself. And then what will happen is the next time that I'm able to come down here, like if I can get an actual base of operations near here, then I'll actually worry about um, I'll worry about saving the village next time. But uh, yeah, I think once the next time, the next time that they send a reclamation party, I'm just going to let it happen. Jeez, we only got like four people left. Dang, man. You should stay right there, buddy. Who's not happy? Can't tell. Oh, I think it was just him. Okay. You guys stay right there, please. If you wouldn't mind. I'll go talk to the Elder. We'll get this stuff squared away. Oh, okay. Here we go. Mm. Oh, 50 water. Okay. That's fine. Traveler trouser. Yeah, like, see, this is stuff that can all be farmed again. Yeah, that sucks. The iron and the tin ingots especially. Um, didn't even know I had sturdy gloves in there. That kind of sucks. Seven straps. Seven thatch. That's kind of shitty. Yeah. That hurts. 19 mud. Eh. But it's all stuff that we can get again. Canvas as well bastards 20 radish this feels like more than 70 something items to be honest ah well it had to happen though we were we were just in a in a bad spot after all these years we are finally free i feel so ashamed about our deal with ashborn thank you protector we have to do our best to regain our honor in the lowlands it's about time friend I'll be real with you though. This village is totally da is totally Back doomed to the, the next time they come around. Mm. Is that a farmer? Oh, expert farmer. Where's the Oh, here he is. Okay. Laborer. Hey, there. I barely know who you are, and you're asking for my Oh, dude. Hello. Oh no. 
I can't believe I may have forgotten about that. Wait a second. Please tell me that at least one of these guys. News from the kingdom. Hey there, valiant always something. Your commitment in Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, that was close. That was close. That was close. That was close. Okay, we got ourselves an apprentice laborer. Thank goodness. Curious times we live in. With talk of wars and rebels. And awesome. Your brain. Come and see me once we've had the chance to get to know you. You're unfamiliar, and we don't do well with that. Hello. The innkeeper, he doesn't care for me. The apprentice healer has nothing to say. Your bravery resonates through the land. Damn, man, that's rough. This guy's got some good stats. Holy hell, he's got some really good stats. I'm gonna have to take him. Let him drop chance, defender. Like, yeah, he's he's really good. The weakling part kind of sucks, but I'll take him. That works for me. All right. Well, I don't know. We're, we're we may have to actually come back and try to defend this or something. We'll see what happens, folks. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for joining me. Really appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful night or day, and I will see you next time. Later, folks.